tell me about the name because yeah. I really appreciated the intention behind it. I truly believe in collaboration. Yeah. I think more minds are better in a room than just one. And I believe everybody deserves a seat at the table. And Drew Barrymore sits down with actress Sydney Sweeney today on the Drew Barrymore Show. But that's not all that's happening this week on the show. And Drew Barrymore and Ross Matthews are joining us live to tell us all about it. So great to see you guys. Good morning to you and welcome. Thank you so Hi. much. Hi, Ben Chris. How are you? <laughs> Good, Good morning, morning. Happy, happy hump day. Oh, we miss you, LA. Oh, we miss you guys too, but at least we get to see you every day, so that's a good thing. Yeah. Um, tell us more about this interview with Sydney Sweeney. Well, um, you know, as a fellow producer myself, I am really enamored with Sydney's work, her company, 5050 Films, because uh, the 5050 is representative of giving credit to everyone who contributes to the process. I love that intention, right? I just think there is no I in team. There never was, there never will be. Mm -hmm. And what I love about her work is she produced Anyone But You, which is just such a hit among so many people, a sort of very elevated, well-crafted rom-com. And then now she's coming out with Immaculate, which is a real genre bending sort of, if you love scary movies, this one's for you, but if you don't, it is also for you because it's more akin to a Rosemary's Baby. It's so quality and well-crafted, and I'm just so impressed with what she's putting out into the world. And I love her as a human being. She's the coolest person. Yeah, it's a really great interview to see you sit down with, with her, knowing what you did in your in your 20s, producing, changing the world of entertainment. Thank you, Rossi. Yeah, it's really neat to see you sort of give her her props for doing that too. Well, well. I, I love rooting people on. You and, do. you know, I was reading a love letter by Benola Dargis, the hardest film critic in the New York Times, giving a love letter to Immaculate. And it makes me feel like, okay, I'm I'm not crazy. This is a really incredible film and when I see someone out there making such high quality stuff, it's it's a great thing to shine a spotlight on it. Yeah, she really Aww. is. She really is killing it in her career and I, I love how, how much you all are promoting her because she's great to watch and very talented. Uh, but let's talk about tomorrow. Um, we're going to talk Spice Girls. This is exciting. <gasps> Mel B. She's got some oh, yes. Spice Girls My news. My first concert, the Spice Girls. I was so excited. Mel B comes I here. I can't believe that was your first concert. How yeah. perfect is that? Uh huh. And I dressed up like Ginger Spice. I had a, I had a streak oh, in my hair. I, could see I, the ginger. I dressed up as Scary Spice for Halloween oh, one year. Oh, that's fun. You Mel did. B. Yes. Well, the conversation is great. We have Spice Girls super fans, and then Mel and Drew go really deep about yeah. her book. It's a beautiful conversation. Yeah. Her the conversation with Mel um, celebrates the Spice Girls and is really live and fun with a bunch of super fans in the audience and then we pivot to her book um, brutally honest and it is brutally honest and she is you know being awarded by the royal family mm -hmm. for her work um, with domestic violence mm. and the stories that she tells and the light that she shines on the signs actually we're gonna put out on all our socials the 15 points um, that people should read and look at to see if any one of them speaks to them in something they may be going through. And I commend her on what she's putting out into the world because the bravery it takes to reveal those experiences yeah. is beyond words. And um, I want to cover everything here. We want to be a bright spot and not a blind spot. And I'm sort of a very sunshiny person but we all want to go deep, and I think daytime has the ability to do that. Sure. But I've always loved the celebratory nature of nighttime, so we wanted to make a show that really is a hybrid of both. Totally, and, and our interview with, with Mel B is a perfect example of that, because we have so much fun with her, and we go deep. We get to have all the feels with her, and I think that's why we get to have so many extraordinary guests come on, because everybody trusts you so much. It's a safe space. Thank you, Rossi, that's for true. saying that. That's this is truth. a safe space, yeah. and we need that in the world. World right now but we need a safe space that understands what people are going through sure. and to have an innate empathy with that going into the process Preach. absolutely and so I true. think that's what makes you all shine and it's not easy to do as people who work in TV we know that that's a really tough balance and you, you do yeah. do an amazing job of it before we let you go let's talk about the two of you and your chemistry together on screen Aww. because you really really are such a perfect combination 
Well, thank I, you for saying that. I always say Rossi came and saved a girl because I was here Aww. anchoring this news desk mm -hmm. because I love the news and I'm such a news junkie. And I wanted to provide uh, and spotlight the stories that were good and positive and pop culture -y and interesting and just sort of fun. But I was here literally by myself talking to no one. And Rossi <laughs> swooped in early on. And I think it took flight and I could see and feel that everything was shifting and I'm just so lucky. That's how I feel. You know me, rescuing <laughs> women. It's what I do. No. Same the truth Rob, is she, same. she rescued me as well. Yeah, it was a it was a crazy time, the pandemic, you know, and, and I had lost my mom and it was just and everyone was scared and we found each other and a, a friendship and a family had really happened between us with the audience in real time. And it's one of the most beautiful things that's, that's ever happened to and me. And when we're not on screen, we're usually on a phone encouraging each other. Or on a walk through the park. Like to push ourselves yes. as human well, Drew and beings. Ross, we think you guys are amazing. We can keep talking and talking. Uh, oh, we'll keep talking. Go to break. We'll no, just keep I know, talking. but hey, yeah. congratulations yeah. to you yeah. both. <laughs> you both are killing it and keep bringing more love into this world because obviously Thank we need it. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thank guys. You Have you a great guys. day. Thanks for having me.